Do you feel that, that this country has done any permanent damage to itself with the young in the way in which it has handled the whole Vietnam issue? I mean, you've worked with a lot of youth mm -hmm. and college students and so forth, and I wonder what your view is on that issue. I think that's a very serious question. I think, for instance, we haven't begun to assess to what degree uh, people become embittered and cynical because they've been lied to. Now, youth is an age which believes in truth. It's a kind of age of purity. It's an age that wants to believe in goodness and so forth. And when people get to that age, only to be lied to consistently by their leaders, to be told that the sun is shining when everybody knows it's raining cats and dogs, is really a very destructive thing. And that's why I think some kind of confession from leaders would be good not only for their souls, but it would be very good for the soul of youth, you know, to realize that these are human beings and they're able to face up the fact that they made mistakes and they're truly repentant about it all. I think this question of lying is a very, very serious one. I think another question which is very serious is the sense of powerlessness. Most sensitive, intelligent uh, young folk, uh, and I must say, I do too feel this way. Uh, you wake up in the morning and you feel like a sensitive grain of wheat looking at a millstone. You know, hi, millstone, whom are you grinding up fine today? It seems to be about the only thing you can, you, you can say, you know. You just feel kind of helpless. And it's terrible that youth has been so vocal and yet have so few people respond to the essentially intelligent things that, uh, that youth has been saying. So that tends to make for a sense of helplessness, uh, which compounded with cynicism doesn't make for very healthy youth. So I think the country is in rather bad shape right now. And it may be that just as Europe lost a whole generation physically after World War I, we psychologically have lost a whole generation as a result of uh, the war in Vietnam. What effect did the conspiracy charges lodged against you for uh, counseling draft resistance have on, on you personally and on your views of this country? Uh, on the personal side, um, you know, it was a, it was a funny thing. I, you get, <laughs> it's a funny country. You get indicted and suddenly you have a platform because the press is more interested in what's sensational than in what's valuable. So if you sensationalize the valuable, you now have a chance to speak from a better platform. So suddenly Playboy asks you an interview and you're on face the nation with Dr. Spock and things like that. So I was kind of grateful for that sort of reaction. You know, it gives you a little more of a platform.